Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the grand finals here for the Friday of Fortnite 20K. Of course, it's week four. And boy, do we have a game mm. for you all ready, set to go. It's going to be TSM Hamlins and Myth facing off against Sword Thief and Typical Gamer. Of course, it's myself, Landon Lano Sanders on hand. And of course, joining alongside myself is Taylor Noble Reflections, of oh, course, yeah, alongside here. by Jordan, a.k.a. Ribs. Guys, we have an insane game ready to go. Woo. Of course, TSM coming from the loser's bracket, oh, yeah. already setting the tone for the viewers at home. Have to win back-to-back -back best of three sets here in order to become a champions here for tonight and walk away with that $10,000 prize. Of course, you're talking about some storylines coming in for tonight's tournament as well. Hamlet from week two was in this exact same situation, like you mentioned, Ribs, yeah. in our commercial break. He's in this exact spot versus the exact same team, of course, with a different teammate. Has Myth, of course, in place of Daquan from, from prior. Yep. But we could obviously see potentially the revenge get the revenge story yep. yeah. or on the opposite we could be seeing typical gamer and thief our first double champions our first two-time victors here for the friday fortnite tournament it should be osman of course the action kicks off here and now it's no longer time for blitz it's back to regular fortnite mode where are we landed taylor well definitely looking at it probably salty is going to be the best bet these teams love to go there and in fact it's one of the better places to go they love to hit up that three-story house but it looks like thief he's got other plans in mind he's going to hit up this house just on the other side of this hill and then he's going to actually he's going to join up with his teammate just down there. So good stuff coming in. But TSM, of course, they're at Salty as well. So both teams sticking pretty close together. And you know what? You got to keep an eye on that other team, especially this close to the money, right? We got oh, $10,000. Hamlet's, Hamlet's already. has already dropped. Hamlin's got dropped from up above. And now we and got a, a shotgun going against a revolver. But if anybody could do it, it could be Miss. He gets some damage on him. He takes some shots. But he puts shots on the other player as well. Building C4? up. C4, C4 going comes down. Out. Huge kills. This is a big opportunity. Myth, for the team, two health. two health dream. Can he make it oh happen? Oh, my God. So much on the line. And with just uh. a revolver, this is going to be a dream for typical gamer and sword Oh, thieves. my God. He's just building and he shot and takes it. him down. What oh. a massive play coming in there from Myth as he absolutely goes huge. The elimination comes through as well. And with two wow. HP and a dream, he could possibly actually res Myth in this situation. What an unbelievable play. A gray revolver. The one weapon that you don't want to have in Fortnite, he happens to grab and he goes oh absolutely massive. He and totally saves the game. And we talk and he's about got a med kit. And we and talk about wow. how influential, how quickly these games can go, how long they can last in a matter of seconds. The grand final could have been over. Yeah. But it's still back and underway. TSM, I don't know how you just did it. Myth, I don't know how you just pulled that off, but he manages to do so. And just like that, we got our grand finals ready and set back to go, gentlemen. And, and we were just saying, like, this this is the same situation we had week two. Hamlin's came out of loser's bracket with Daquan going against these same players, typical gamer and yeah. thief. And this is the fatal difference here is Myth. Nothing against Daquan, but Myth has been playing lights out oh, yeah. all throughout this loser's bracket. We just saw phenomenal uh, performance in loser's finals. And uh, picking up right where he left off and literally the worst possible situation, going against attack shoddy, low in health, gray magnum. And he makes the edit window, he gets the down, <laughs> and now they're right back in it and... They they are losing by two 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 kills, but they're they're in the running wow. right here. I I can't even. <laughs> like you would talk about like a a total am, tone difference that we have from what uh, thirty seconds ago to yeah, now. I I am shooketh. I gotta tell you, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. That oh, yeah. was, I mean, you talk about how two health, and then now they come back, and of course now they're looking at least okay whenever it comes to health and shield. But only myth in that situation could pull that off. The composure that he had with that player, and of course that player probably has no idea that he almost just ended this tournament for TSM. But now Typical Gamer and Thief, they have their hands full, right? They've got it come through, but of course they're all sticking together. They're going to be stealing kills left and right, and honestly I think it's going to be extremely close. And one thing that I, I, I'm starting to love a lot more about, you know, compared to Fortnite week in and week out, is the ability for how long these games can last and how quickly... If they can end. We almost just awarded ten thousand dollars, basically, within the first thirty seconds of the game. Like these matches have such a an unpredictable lifespan that it just makes such an intense and awesome you know sequence of moments. Every engagement could be each team's last. Every moment, every shot means so much for these players. And we talk about the not just the the money that's on the line, but the pride is as well. You talk about TSM. These two guys are on what's arguably probably one of the better competitive teams in all of Fortnite esports right now. And then you have Typical Gamer and Thief who are making the name for themselves as being a, a dominant duo themselves and not even being on a dedicated esports team. So I mean, there's just so much you know kind of credit. There's so much you know 
I mean, just overall presence on the line, and just makes things even more exciting. But just as we start to talk about that, two quick kills actually come in from Typical Gamer, just to add on to the overall totals here, is there's going to be loot galore for the time being, as, of course, in the top left of our screen, Typical Gamer, a little bit delayed there, so they're not necessarily on another spree for kills. So this is just kind of a, a matter of a replay in this situation to see exactly how we managed to pick these up. But uh, double pump or rather the uh, pump mattered with Oof. the uh, tactical shotgun is, is absolutely de deathly combo when he got it in this man's hands. I really love those jump rock plays too. When they when they released that in the game and made Dusty Divot like one of the best places to land for those jump rocks. Uh, coming from Gears of War, third person shooter, it's a lot about movement. And in this game, when you have those jump rocks or when you have a jump pad, you're able to uh, impulse grenades, when you're, you're able to do all these crazy moves and still line up your shots. It's so fun to watch. It really is. Look at that, six to one is gonna be it. Five kill difference for the men of Typical Gamer and Sword Thief. Of course, these guys have already been in the winner's circuit before. Hamlin's so close. He's trying to make his way through and get a win himself. TSM guys have been playing out of their minds, but of course, Typical Gamer and Sword <laughs> Thief, they have been playing just as well throughout this tournament. In fact, earlier in the tournament, they actually beat uh, the TSM boys. So this is a match they've already yeah, won against them. So, of course, they know exactly how TSM is going to play, and if anybody knew, would know how to beat them at this point, it's Typical Gamer and Sword Thief. Of course, now look at Sword Thief on your screen. He's got a player just ahead of him. He's going to try and mow him down, but look at Hamlin's trying to move his way in there, Oof. but not quick enough. He's going to go ahead and get the knock. As we're going to see, he's going to go back down to Dusty Oof. and continue his domination fashion. As wow. uh, Look at that. Trying to take another one from the TSM boys. Can he land some more shots? Myth was trying oh, to pick up that kill. Reload. Going straight towards him. Oh, this is... And, th and this, right is why, this, is why, this is why this is what's so dangerous oh, about wow. sticking together. And that player says hello, gets right in front of him, and gets an easy kill. And that's what we're talking about, guys. Sticking together is so crucial sometimes because you could steal the kills from the enemy team. And Thief in that situation says, I don't care how high your vertical is. I'm going to take you down no matter what. So uh -huh. nice elimination there coming in from uh, from that squad as well. But take a look at the kills right now. It looks like nine right now for Typical Gamer and Thief. And I believe only three in total there for TSM. All solely oh, just one. coming in. Or just one. Oh, yeah. I thought that was a three. Coming out real oh, that's flat just here. My apologies. Yeah, so that, only one actually yeah. there from the TSM guys. My apologies there. But, yeah, a, a very hefty lead as the time currently stands. And we talk about the ability of how fast these games can go. This isn't even a blitz game. Aurora already down yeah. to, what, 26 players now in the match? Yeah, total engagement's right about 26, 27. So definitely looking uh, pretty slim pickings at this point, but sticking together, obviously, they've been fighting for kills, and Typical Gamer and Sword Thief have been the guys to win that battle so far. Of course, they're just going to say Dusty Divot, try and get some kills over here. No, Obviously, that being the central focal point, he's going to go and use that jump pad and come forward. But as you notice, you look on your screen, uh, at least that typical gamer, the TSM boys, they've already moved out, but Sword Thief is hot on their tail. And we're seeing typical, ga typical gamer looking to make his way over there as well. So uh, TSM, I mean, yeah, TSM, I mean, they're just at this point trying to get some distance between typical gamer and Thief to chop that uh, team killing. But you know what? They're not able to do so. And and one thing that we noticed, of course, from the week two game that they had against each other, of course, to, to kind of bring up the rivalries, of course, like I said, it wasn't myth in the situation. It was Daquan playing right. alongside of, of Hamlin's. One thing that typical gamer and thief were known for doing is sticking with the enemy, no matter how much of a lead they yeah. had. It didn't matter if it was two kills or 20 kills. They were staying with the enemy at all costs. And that's such an annoying strategy to have, but such a smart one as well, is consistently being on the enemy heels. If you have the advantage, why not make it more difficult for the opposition to have to face off against those things? And that's not a strategy that TSM is, is known for doing when you look at both these squads. Totally different play styles when it comes down to a matter of having a lead versus not having one. So it's, it's going to be a very interesting aspect to see how the game kind of continues on. And if you're TSM, really, it's going to be a matter of we really need to have this lead. If not, we're going to be having Typical and Thief with us the entirety of the rest of the match. And keep in mind also, you know, uh, TSM has been playing Blitz for the majority of this tournament, mm -hmm. being in loser's bracket, and now they're finally going back to regular BR squads and uh, it's Thief and Typical Gamer just coming out hot here. Meanwhile, that one Magnum kill that saved the game for TSM Huge. is the only kill they have here in this this round, this first round of uh, Grand Finals. That's that's so true. But <laughs> we've seen them pick up, and we've seen what they've able to, they're able to do. And the fact that they're still running around and they're still in this battle royale means that anything could happen. Yeah, they're stuck in this this unfortunate circumstance where there's just no opponents that they can find at this point. They've been searching well, far and <laughs> wide, and there's no one there. If you're going to find them, though, they're probably at least going to be one point of linger against uh, Tilted Towers. Uh, they're kind of few and far between from time to time, but uh looks like, at least for the most part, I believe we see Hamlin's and now. Thief both 
lingering inside of Tilted, depending on where exactly the locations, what buildings they want to go to, is up to them. But oh, so I they believe split uh, Myth two, two, two actually, teams two. yeah, I believe Myth does find one kill in this exact situation here. So nice knockdown has the ability to find a there second as well as Thief here is typical here, and it looks like yes, typical will actually knock out that player who he happened to trap. Oh my player. gosh, typical big says thank you very much for that one. Yeah, Great building gamer. skills, wow. Yeah, typical Gamer coming out on top and that engagement right there. Myth only able to uh, get one kill. And meanwhile, Typical Gamer picks up two. So maintaining this lead wow. and this dominance here. And Hamlin's thankfully takes out that one. I believe Thief is just on his yeah. heels at the moment. So both players, both teams really, uh, of two essentially having to battle up against one another for these kills. It's kind of a permanent one versus one <laughs> going throughout the map. And that's such <laughs> an odd thing to be looking at when it comes to like regular Fortnite play. But... <laughs> I mean, squads, uh, these guys just have an absolute ex excel. I mean, they just st play so incredibly well when it comes down to these games. But uh, massive props. And take a look at the kill totals right now. Tip so gamer 11 Thief. to 3. 11 to 3, yeah. yeah. And the advantage. So eight kills in total right now. That's basic math for you. Thank you to the <laughs> production for popping that one up for me just to feel a little bit more safe. But, uh, but yeah, looks like it's the just <laughs> ending zone's coming just toward the northern part of, sh of Shifty Shafts. This has to be one of the most... I guess one of the, the biggest maps that we've seen where the players have moved around, we've seen now Dusty, we've seen Salty, we've seen now Tilted, and we're also now seeing Shifty as well. Wow. These players are moving to find these kills, and it just comes to show, <laughs> hey, there's no place where they can't go, right? So, I mean, I, I don't even know where they're going to finish up, but the fact that we've already seen four places, I mean, even in, even in normal mode, of course, where it's slower, that's, that's pretty rare, honestly. We typically don't see a, this much movement. It just comes to show how much they're searching. But, I mean, it comes to the testament, too, of how hard they're trying to get away from each other, at least in the boys of TSM. They're trying so hard to get away from Typical Gamer and Sword Thief. They just can't do it. They're just right on their heels. And the fact that they split up, both of them split up, it's kind of a testament to show of how tight this competition is. Well, I think the reason why we see the initiation is TSM wanting to split apart. They don't want to be together as a clumped four. They want to try to separate themselves. And so as they do that, we see typical gamers obviously stick with one. We see th Thief stick with the other. So Ooh, uh, I think that's uh -oh. Uh -oh. Just like that, there goes Thief. And unfortunately for him, typical gamer is far just away. on the uh, is pretty far out. Uh, of course, he's on the outskirts of Tilted. Does he make the rush? Of course, the communication coming in right now to typical on whether or not he wants to try to make that rush, wants to help out his teammate or not. But that's a huge moment in this game for Thief to drop. It's very uncharacteristic for him. But when it comes to Tilted Towers, it is very unpredictable. Yeah, this game is actually really close right now. It's only about a five different uh, kill difference, and it's going to be a two-on-one. Not many players left in the lobby, but uh, TSM should be able to bring this back to uh, to a game two where it's going to be pretty close. Yeah. Right now, seven to seven to twelve, and that's a big break. Like you just said, there ribs for for TSM. Of course, they're down right now. Th this is the this is their match to come back from. They have to win two yeah. of these series in order to win tonight's grand final. So, I mean, for them, that, that's a huge break. And just as uh, I believe kills are beginning to digress, I believe uh, Hamlin's just find an expiring one. Typical gamer does as well. And okay. I believe a jet pad coming through, and I think typical might, yeah, be, is going to be here for the res. So happens to get toward his counterpart in Thief. Wow. And we'll be able to go for the res. Uh, that, that didn't That's look big. possible, but I think thankfully due to that jump pad being placed, it makes it a lot easier for him. And he picked up a kill. Wild do Actually, he picked up two kills. Yeah. No, he got the, he got one that, that stolen was one prior. Okay. Yeah. It was one prior. Okay. And comes in for the res. So good stuff on his part. This res is really big, especially this late in the game, right? Because the TSM boys, they thrive whenever it comes to being last alive, especially in a 1v2, uh, let alone with none of the teammates being up. But getting that res is absolutely huge. Of course, he's got some minis to pop. He's looking good health-wise, and they're going to push out of Tilted to try and get some more kills. But And they actually already find an engagement. What I mean, come on. Myth knocks out one but here. Myth does knock out at one. As we see Sword Thief, he's going to be pushing forward for one as well. He spotted one. He tried to go Huge in for the shot. Huge they're the, coming uh, in for Myth. Wow. For the sniper, but not able to get it. But TSM was starting to heat up just a little bit. We're looking at nine total kills for them. And on the other 14, end, 14, we got yeah. 14. So they've made a little comeback. They might have a little uh, deficit moving into second round. But at this point, it's to be said, okay. can TSM tie it up? Up. And I believe uh, TSM actually finds a few kills Three players in that left. sequence. Yeah, so they're going to be up to 12 in total now, just short of the 14. So, like we said, down by two. And I believe uh, three players do remain in the lobby. So regardless of, of who finds these remaining kills, it's going to be a, a very neck-and-neck neck game is. number two. 
And for TSM, you're pretty much hoping that Thief would have dropped in that initial fight, would have made things a lot more easier for you in the, in the scheme of things. But uh, No, they still pretty much secured the rest of the lobby here right. and slayed out the rest of the lobby, even though, because during that revive, they pretty much got a team wipe. Yeah. And here's you know the last engagement coming right now. And regardless, we're going to be going into this game, too, with a very close game. Which uh, could have it could have been way different if uh, Myth didn't clutch up there in that beginning fight, Salty oh, yeah. Springs. We're, we're, we're honestly probably talking about how this one is probably out of hand. Like yeah. th we're probably talking about how, how this is going to have to be a massive clutch for TSM. Right. They have to pull out one of the, one of the biggest clutches in Fortnite history. Thankfully for them, that doesn't have to happen at least as of yet. But uh, yeah, man, that that one revolver shot just happened to uh, to change <laughs> the entire tide of the game. That beautiful edit. You know, he was out of mats. He dodged the C4s, which was beautiful too. The the awareness once that guy threw the C4s out of the bathroom, he put a wall up mm. to protect him, and uh, he was able to edit the window of his own wall to get that that last uh, magnum shot. And uh, really saved the match for them. Oh, nice yeah. headshot nice there knock. from Thief. It's about to say, Sword Thief needs this kill to kind of justify being rezzed, right? Because at that point, if Sword Thief would have got rezzed and not picked up the kill after that, then I would have been questioning, did, was it worth it for Oof. typical gamer oh, to go Oh, he's on sore through? for a reason, baby. <laughs> was it worth it for typical gamer to go back it and sure was. pick him up? But I guess it was as he picks up some kills towards the end. And it's not going to be too bad, right? It's going to be close going into the second one. We'll see typical gamer and Sword Thief. They'll have a little bit of an advantage going into it by just a couple of kills with the T. Some boys are hot on their trails, and of course, as we know, anything can possibly happen, whether it be salty or tilted. Yeah, man. Anybody can go down. <sighs> wow. And I got to tell you this: number one in the top fives is for sure going to be myth if they come and clutch this and, and take over this win. You think so? I absolutely think so. Think come it on. has to happen? Two HP comes through <laughs> with a gray revolver. <laughs> yeah, oh it has to happen. God. Are you kidding me? Through a window? Wow. I mean, only myth can do that. I mean, hey, man, uh, that, that's such an awesome thing. Like, I was just witnessing that, and I was thinking, like. There is no other esports title. I mean, besides like BR games, let's just say that there's no other like title as far as things are considered, where the entirety of an of a series can end in a moment's notice yeah. or come down to the wire in just a, in just one fight. I mean, that obviously makes the, the entirety of the difference. And of course, we see the score here at the end, sixteen to thirteen. So, honestly, we're probably looking at that. Quite a majority of the kills go to typical gamer and thief. If we see oh, yeah. Myth and Co drop early, that's probably. I, I, I'm going to say roughly like a 20 plus lead that they're going to have. Yeah. Normally, of course, that's now cut down to three essentially. So it's anyone's game. And right now, if you're on the side of Temple Gamer and Sword Thief, you are in the driver's seat. You are on match point. Mm -hmm. You're one map away. You're one game away of winning another $10,000. That's absolutely absurd. I mean, it's huge. But on top of that, too, to be the first team to win two tournaments in our Friday fortnight. And of course, it's only been a two week time span, right? Yeah. But, hey, $7,000 for second isn't bad either. But, oh, of course, no. number one spot. I know Hamlin's is gunning for that myth as well. Two yeah. competitive individuals. But I just want to go to the attestment of how good Typical Gamer and Sword Thieves are, right? Oh, yeah, These, these guys are, aren't necessarily, as you would consider, professionals, but they're as close to professional as you can possibly get. And it, it yeah. really opens the doors for them, at least moving on, to get picked up from professional teams in the future. Sure. And one thing that I really like about their play, too, they kind of remind me of like a Noah Jay and an Avery, essentially, as far as their play is considered. But to me, what really kind of sets them apart as far as their overall play is, like I said, they're, they're not necessarily pro players. They're not on the phase. They're not on, on TSM. Right. They're not on NRG, et cetera. But one thing that I really like about their play, one thing that I've really learned from watching their gameplay over time, and especially watching a Typical Gamer to be one, is his communication. I, I was watching him play solo squads the other day, and even leading into to our Week 2 tournament, and one thing that I love about his play is, like I said, his communication. He was giving call-outs to no one. He's what? playing by himself. Hello? He's like, oh, he's like, so he, <laughs> he, lands in, he lands in Pleasant Park. I remember, I remember the exact situation. He literally went to Pleasant Park, and he was like, okay, this guy's to my north, there's two guys to my east, there's a whole sure. squad in Pleasant. And the ability for someone to already do that without having communication it's such an awesome thing to have. Of we, of course, all, all come from esports backgrounds. We know how important communication can be. Of Huge. course, yep. you do as well, J uh, Ribs being yes. in, in communication all the time and in Gears of War games and whatnot. I mean, having clutch communication and having such detailed communication as well is so, so important. Yeah. I mean, you talk about communication is big in some aspects, but the right communication is, is the difference maker. So I think really when it comes down to this, Typical Gamer and Thief, they have the lead right now. They have the advantage at their hand, but can they close it out? Can they become... Champions twice, Woo. or will we see the TSM boys respond back valiantly? It will be a very interesting one to watch. Our tournament can end here. $10,000 can be awarded to first place, or will we see more games to come that all comes off the back of what TSM has up their sleeves? 
And I want to make a point real quick. We've been watching TSM now for three series in a row. And first versus Richard, then versus Tifu uh, and FaZe. And then in Losers Finals, again, they had a huge lead. 20 kill lead, 15 kill lead, yeah. 15 kill lead. Finally, now, they need to switch up their gameplay because they're down just slightly, but they're down. And they need to go oh, to Tilted Towers. Well, and here it is. Here it is. They're going to be a Tilted. This is uh, definitely an intense, risky play. Will it pay off, though, as we see already in hot Oof. pursuit of wow. their first kill? <laughs> and they managed to get it without taking any fall damage. Mind you, phenomenal well, stuff. Landing I, on that I body. I think his screen's yes. a little zoomed in, so it's hard to tell if he, how much health oh, he it is. has. Yeah, actually, I, I don't know the top left, it doesn't look like he took I think he, I think he landed on the body, yeah. which actually <laughs> broke the fall. So I've been in this situation. When you when you jump out of that window from the roof, you usually take about 20, 30 fall damage. But he yeah. landed on the on down the, body. Oh. That's his... Oh, that's, that's his... Okay. Yeah, that's about, his about to say... <laughs> So not like this. <laughs> and like I said, man, like at any moment, like th at any second, there could be a player around any one of these corners, a one a one pump to the face, and you're out, and you're done if you're in TSM shoes here. So, so much on the line, of course, a tilted tower rush. I mean, pretty uncharacteristic. Of course, we see typical gamer and a sore thief kind of hanging around the salty springs overall gameplay. And that's one thing, too, that we've brought up in the past. Usually when a team likes to kind of hang when, with the other squad, the enemy usually then kind of counters by going into Tilted Towers because why would you want to go with another team when there's such a, a huge risk in doing that? But a few missed shots there from Hamlin's. Thankfully, the Iron Man was not looking the right <laughs> way, so Tony Stark will unfortunately be seeing an early <laughs> exit. But uh, nice plays coming on the opposite end there from Thief as well as he's up to uh, to one kill in total. But we're going to finish right now to t t TSM in this particular match. Uh oh taking some shots from above in a fight. He does do some defensive building. He's got to get out of there at this point. He's got to build above that player in hot pursuit. Get some nice shots on him. Takes him out Beautiful. with the pistol to finish him off, or excuse me, the tack there. Another player jumping oh from my. up ahead, and he gets it again. That's going to be a total of three kills from answering back to Myth and Hamlins, who's currently sitting at one. And, of course, we can't see how many kills uh, Myth is going to yeah. be at. That's okay. I'm Myth. sure his chat is spamming right now that, the over, that it's messed up. But, you know, he's yeah. so zoned in. He hasn't looked at his chat No, nah, you can't. That's I hope he doesn't, <laughs> to be honest. Like, don't even be focusing anything but this game right now so has some shields has some uh utility to work with but uh, getting ready to kind of advance ourselves back here towards salty springs the action is is just as much viable here at least in this game Ooh. as uh, Ooh, nice a nice shot very quick reaction coming in there from typical gamer making everyone look that much more untypical <laughs> <laughs> as he is just on a, on a rampage, man. And these two guys, I mean, they're just on a tear at yep. all times. Like, they can be sent anywhere and are going to find kills. Yeah, absolutely. And there he goes with the kill. Gets oh. a nice knock. Goes for the second up above. And you talk about engagements. Wow. You couldn't ask for a better time. All these engagements, I think he just missed a player just behind him as well. Oh, that was his teammate. Was that his teammate? Okay, cool. Uh, but there is another player just <laughs> below. Teammates sticking <laughs> together. And I'm telling you, they are just wiping the floor wow. with these opponents. You talk about making a statement and wanting to been uh, at least another ten thousand dollars and be a two-time champion in our Fortnite tournaments. And they're <laughs> looking at to set the standard. Yeah, they're up. They're up seven to yeah. two right now. Not to mention they they already have those three, three kills. extra kills. So that's ten to two. TSM's got to be so frustrated. Like, yes, are, are you kidding me? Like, we finally we go tilted, and there's more engagements in salty, salty. than there are here. That is like, true. They're already dipping out. Yeah, it's that's, that's such a so that's such a risky strategy in itself. In yeah. in this particular scenario, it doesn't work out. We talk about the RNG that comes yep. into every yep. game. Apparently, there just wasn't as many players going to Tilted this time around. And it's kind of crazy, right? Because Salty has been a high engaged area, but not this high oh, engaged. Yeah, I mean, by no means. You, you would think, like, Tilted, of course, you got to find some and kills. They found what? How many kills? Two kills? And it's funny, <laughs> right? Because this is where TSM goes every single time. They yep. go to Salty Springs 90% of their games, and the one time they don't, that's where all the engagements are. That's just such unfortunate uh, you know, play coming out in this particular game for them. But yeah. to bring it back, still. How many engaged? We got 45 engagements still remaining. Good amount of people. Good amount of people. Typical gamer and thief. Now it seems like it's slowed down just a little bit. Of course, though, for Myth and Hamlins, it's never really sped up. Oh, look, so they're thief kind is of still engaging now in Dusty Divot. Dusty Divot is the area too, but of course they're hitting all these really high target profile areas, so they could go down too, and that can lead for TSM to potentially make a comeback. But at this point, they look unstoppable. Okay, he's running. He's running into a player right now, trying to build to the high ground, but he has the help of typical gamer there and thief. Typical gamer. That's a two v one. They're gonna take that. Get another frag there. Wow. And um, I believe they got multiple kills there. They might have got two more kills there. And this is this is running away from TSM right now. And that's a that's a risky strategy, but it's something that they feel confident in, right? Because they're up obviously in the series automatically. They have a one series cushion to kind of hold on to. Granted, you don't really want to have to relate to that, but they're feeling confident. They're feeling good. They had the lead. They have the the lead when it comes into being in the winners rather than the losers. And they're walking away with the ribs. I mean, they're not even taking consideration the fact that. They already have the advantage in this game. They're playing as if it's a, a fresh match. Yeah, and you saw TSM take that risk, go to 
go to Tilted Towers, and they, they did go to Tilted Towers. They played it very conservative, though. They only walked out with two kills. Meanwhile, Salty Springs. Maybe <laughs> it's this tournament today. Everybody's been going Salty Springs, so, you know, the majority of the Fortnite Twitch community is in this tournament, and uh, maybe all these players are watching it. They're like, all right, <laughs> now that I'm done watching because Ninja's out or whatever, let me go Salty <laughs> Springs now. And, and, then, and now here we are, Salty Springs, 12, changing the meta. 15. Yeah, we're changing the meta one Friday Fortnite at a time. Oh, that's <laughs> so saying. These tournaments have shown that Salty Springs is the way to go. That's why oh, I yeah. started dropping yeah. Salty. You oh, as absolutely. well. Absolutely. I mean, Salty is, is a very dominant place to go. Yep. It's a little bit safer than Tilted, uh, but it can also be more volatile as well. It just it just depends on how you play it. It's all about the drop. You go to that three-story house, if you manage to lock that down and at least get those couple of chests, it's it's it can work out in your favor as we're seeing now a six-kill lead for typical gamer and thief. Now, mind you, they only need to win one TSL. They need to come back and win two best yeah. of twos, potentially best of threes, depending if they tie it. But with that being said, typical gamer and thief, they might have a chance, a real chance to be two-time champions and secure another $10,000 that TSM can't keep locking down these kills. Well, looking at the score and looking at the amount of players left, this is very salvageable for TSM. Six kills is nothing. One team wipe, and you're right back in it. There's so many players left, 30 players left. And uh, honestly, it's just going to be luck right now. If they could find the first team of four and just slay them out. And uh, if I'm typical gamer and uh, sore thief, I'm gonna I'm gonna go meet up with TSM now. As I was gonna say, yeah, I, I, and that's something that they've been typical to do. No pun intended, of course. <laughs> throughout a lot of the game and according to the minimap it looks like they're kind of sprinting toward their point of yes. view so I think that's what they're going to be trying to do here Ribs is and that being said TSM needs to keep that distance oh, yeah. they need to keep that distance and maybe even split up at this point it's a little risky but you have to do something if to they make sure that typical gamer and, and sort of don't get the game that they want yeah if you get a, if you have a jump pad or, or something on those lines like put it down go your separate ways and yeah. kind of hope to, to find the kills we might be seeing that right may. here yeah yeah they're splitting up here on this mountain right now and Not sure uh, if they'll try to join up or if they'll. Uh, well, go I mean, this way, is this is typical, right, of uh, Myth and Hamlins. They love to split up, and when they do, they have extreme confidence in each other. Especially Hamlins, who can go out there and just pick up kills as a solo. I love player. his loadout too. Myth is too. Look at Hamlins' loadout. He's plenty of mats. He has the impulse grenades and the jetpack. It's a lot of mobility. He has the blue pump, the the burst rifle, which is great in a team situation. And then he has his green, his, his trusty green. It's, he's honestly one of the best tactical shotgun players in the game, uh, Hamlins, in my opinion. Got a lot of them on TSM, right? Daquan as well. Myth can rock the double pump too. So I mean, right. hey, a lot of uh, a lot of great shotgunners on that team in general. And uh, like you said, his loadout's looking pretty solid. But still, keep in mind though, no heals in that loadout, so he needs to slay out. That is right, and and uh, he just broke off from his teammates. So I mean, hey. Ooh, more pulse grenades. Ooh, I we really need to pay attention to Hamlin's here. He can make or break this match right now with his loadout and uh, the fact that he doesn't have typical gamer or, or thief anywhere near him. He could he could get these four pieces real quick and just keep it moving. And he is in a wide open area, right? But of course, he's got those building skills to back him up and give him a little bit of leeway whenever it comes to a team fight. Pushing out, nobody home just quite yet. But of course, it is like I said, a long passageways that'll be able to be seen down. So of course, we could see a shot fired at him relatively soon. But all is quiet for now as we're seeing some building up here on for Sore Thief. But I think he's just roaming around so far. All is quiet, but the storm is collapsing down. And I believe uh, Typical and Thief are actually going to be joining up, or they're on the cusp, essentially, With myth. of joining alongside Myth here. Yeah. So uh, at least eliminating the, the vision of one player. So like you said, there rips. It, it's really going to come a lot here on to Hamlin's. Can he make the play? He has I think he spotted impulses. someone. He's using his impulse grenades to get closer. Um, he doesn't have to worry about fall damage because he has the jetpack. And uh, I want to say that he has to have spotted someone. There's no reason he would use all his impulse grenades. Unless he's just trying to get as far away as possible, but I, I, I think he's he's kind of already good. Like you know, just be kind of an awkward play to kind of utilize those then. But maybe Myth called somebody out and he's trying to converge, or maybe he's trying to join up too. Because like we said, typical gamer and sword thief are trying to converge with Myth. So maybe Hamlin's just trying to come in for backup so they can have more of an opportunity to steal kills. But I do like Hamlin still being by himself. He's kind of that wild card. I, I think he has to be by himself here because like spotted it, and divot. Because that's that's the thing that typical gamer and thief are known for. It's sticking with the enemy. They're they're so good at it, and they're so you know solid when it comes to stealing kills. We saw that in one of the first games uh, of our first match here is that their ability to kind of walk away with those kills, a, an extra shot in the body just before the enemy goes down. That's what they're known for. It's thief's name for God's sake. A so big with fight that in mind, right here, they could pull away with a a sizable lead if they're able to pull off these kills here at Dusty Divot. This yeah. The gas is going to be moving in soon. Okay, and well um, I ahead. think this could be the tournament right here if they're able to secure about five, six kills yeah. on these players trying to rotate. Well, two yep. kills just ahead of them as the other uh -oh. team is, in fact, going to be pushing up. They're not building just big as high as him. Here. He's got the height yeah. advantage. He comes Woo! in, manages to pick up one knock. 
Going for the second. He's going to build up, of oh. course. And there's a player. Gamer, gamer, does right drop, typical though. gamer does go drop. He's going for the res versus getting. Oh, no. He goes for the kill. Big takes shot. a lot of damage. Oh my gets a God. knock, though, with the edit. Talk get the about res. a shot. Of course, he's still getting pushed. Can't go for the res at this point. It's a Landon. 1v2. It's crazy. This is absolutely insane play by by anyone's stretch of the imagination. Typical Gamer has to dive off the overall fort and has to kind of rush forward. So this is really a massive play here on the backside of Thief. Can he pull this one off? Can he go big? Another snipe to the head. 1v1. A Thief in the night. What an amazing shot coming through. He's the sniper one shot, though, from a is absolutely shot. insane. And he has to find more kills. This could be the tournament here on the edge of elimination, on the brink of dying. This is all on to Thief. A secures one and has, has the ability to find two more. This is insane play. He knows where one is. Can he find oh, that one as nice. well? Going and he does it. exactly that. Thief finding three big kills here at the end. What trying to make it though. even more awkward for TSM to make the comeback. Yep. He might have just solidified it here. Another player, typical, ends up getting dropped. Can he find it? And yes, he got Thief it. is absolutely on a rampage. He might have just sealed the deal completely for themselves to walk <laughs> away with back-to-back wow. back championships. Big plays there from Huge Thief. Amazing plays. plays. Because those players were good, but they got caught. This is one mistake you cannot make in this game. You cannot stand still for too long. You will get headshotted by a sniper. It doesn't matter who it is. And right there, just Thief having the right weapon out at the right time, getting those two headshots, making the shotgun plays, and he may have just secured himself championship here well let's see what's going to happen hopefully we can get a scoreboard up i know they have taken the lead by quite a bit but i'm seeing what five five three we'll see as we're going to continue on tsm still yet to fight a team to eliminate 29 to 21 eight okay. kill lead of course still doable for tsm yeah. especially with a typical camera going down sword thief last alive how many engagement we have 15 total engagements be remaining so by all means, still totally possible for TSM to come back. But Here now, Steve, oh a full squad in front already of him. in an engagement, taking massive shots, but not taking any damage. He's got to build up. This He's got to build up quick. This player could Plus make it back. or break it. Can he get it? No, he, gets he taken goes down. down. Oh, Thief is dead. And just like that, it's now at the backside here for Look TSM. This. They got they, this. They, they have they, to go big here. It's absolutely possible for them to let alone tie this game or to even win this first series. Of course, being in the loser's bracket, you see the reaction on their faces on the flank right now. It's Hamlin's. He's able to drop one and also finds the second. Ooh. Potentially, their mobile players, for God's sake, <laughs> will find at least two. And there is the third in his midst. Can he find this one as well? And he <laughs> will do exactly wow. that. TSM coming back when they absolutely have to. Thankfully, their enemies are down, but there's still more to come. Not many players alive, and can they pull up the comeback? Can they force the second final? And can they force the, the second series? And here comes another push. Hamlin's yet again using the jump pad valiantly. Can he find these ones as well? All players in front of him, a full squad by himself. It's going to be Myth joining alongside him just behind, finding one from above, gets the knockdown onto the second as well, and there should be the third as well. The nice expiring shots coming through, and Myth will find the knockdown, a full squad another dead, and here comes yeah. another one. We're going this, to, is this is definitely going to be a bracket reset here. Uh, Hamlet's just putting on a clinic right now. He's just slaying. He's getting wow. high ground. He's not even using the jetpack. If you notice, he's just building There's normally. There's no need. He's just yeah. building over top. He's an animal. He is a portage shield in himself. Oh. Look at the He people. is not wow. missing not a accurate. bullet. He's not missing a single shot. Goes in for oh one kill. Breaks down. Gets God. the second kill. It's lighting up Myth as well. Finally getting another kill too. Of course, someone else coming into the mix. But nonetheless, still a total of four engagements for them to Look get. I believe at loop, this point, man. have they tied up the game? I think they have, but it's going to be a close one still they need to secure these last four for special or at least another two to secure this victory of course it's still close we're looking at it look how serious he is and of course you have to be at this point we're talking about a total of another three thousand dollars on the line if they can secure this and force a round two for an, at least another uh, best of two and guys we got it 29 to 32 tsm has okay. already secured yeah. it so we're going into wow. another one and guys this all Look started at those numbers man this all Beautiful. started with myth being at two health with a gray revolver <laughs> and a 1v1 with his teammate down this is how this started they came back from that and now they're forcing a second series against the champions of week two great stuff. unbelievable that's unbelievable it's insane to think about <laughs> uh, coming back from game one what really would would have happened? So I mean, that's just absolutely insane stuff to be looking at where they were at. I mean, you think about it, right? Thief and and typical, they were up. There was an opportunity, like you said, where it was uh, myth 
two HP. His teammate is down. You were living off of two HP, yeah. and you bring it all the way back to make the clutches necessary. They were even down when it came down to uh, th this series as well. Making that full-on comeback to take this game from where they come from, I mean, started from the bottom, I think, is the <laughs> definition of what this first series consists of. Unbelievable. And that's, I mean, that's why these guys are sponsored by TSM, man. Like, <laughs> coming from a competitive standpoint, being sponsored by Team Envious, Ghost Gaming, Team Caliber, I've been on all these teams. You need the composure and you need the resilience in these high-intense in these high intense situations. And um, even Thief right there, clutching up, getting those kills, but he had to do more. He, he, yeah. he got that one four He piece. had so many engagements. He, he, had like to, he had to take out that John Wick, and we saw him miss a shot. He gets taken out. And if I'm sorry, Thief, I thought I just clinched, and then all of a sudden I die, and then TSM just takes over. They got 15 <laughs> out of the last, like, 20 kills. And Hamlin's walks away with 16 frags there. I mean, that's... Beautiful. We were talking about like we, we were discussing like how much uh, of a lead that they were. I mean, they were dominating the last three games in the losers bracket. They were having no issues yeah. whatsoever. They were playing the blitz mode. Their shots were on. And then they come into this game. They start off a little bit slow. We always talk about the shot. Essentially, is what I'm going to deem it as the shot with the revolver that Myth <laughs> ends up making. But now they come off of that victory feeling great. They obviously officially reset the bracket, so we have one final series to decide it all here. I mean, uh, of course, it ends up finishing off 35 to 29 in the overall score. Uh, as far as things are considered. But they end up that game in a very wow. hot way. I know, Ribs, we were talking about earlier, a loser's bracket fire that you have after being yeah. knocked down in early. You only are gaining momentum as the tournament goes on, as long as you're progressing. And you know, the fire is obviously in their corner right now for TSM. And they came out flat at first, but right there we saw the TSM that we've been seeing all throughout the day. Right. And it's great that they, they pulled it out again so they could get into this grand final set number two. And uh, it all comes down to this now. This is it. It's a I clean mean, slate. This is this is massive. This is massive, right? We're talking about another best of two coming in clean slate. And honestly, I I, I gotta say, <laughs> this is really really intense overall. TSM is is by far one of my favorite teams. I love the boys over there, of course. TSM. Yeah. This is their first opportunity, first real opportunity at least to take over this championship. I say that. Well, then again, Daquan and Hamlin's had a chance, but Hamlin's is hungry for this. Trust oh, me absolutely. on that. But typical sure. gamer sword thieves, they gotta be hurting from that loss. Of course, they had the win going to the end. I definitely thought he had it. We thought he had it, <laughs> right? I mean, how could you not? But Wow. It turns out TSM make that comeback. And I got to say, too, I mean, we talk about, like, the competitive, like, the, the pro teams. We talk about TSM. We talk about FaZe. Yeah. There's absolutely a little bit of a rivalry kind of brewing with these two organizations who are consistently making it far in these tournaments, seeing each other, eliminating each other from the Friday Fortnite matches and whatnot. I mean, the fact that TSM hasn't won one yet and the fact that FaZe beat them last week or even, right. you know, to get toward that victory, they got to have a little bit of a chip on their shoulder. Of 100%. course, we see the roster switch up from time to time. I think we see Hamlin's playing with a few other players the last two weeks, but Hamlet's is now obviously joining up with his squad mate. He's playing now with Myth, and it's fair to say, I think if they were able to win this one, it only makes that rivalry even more intense. I mean, the FaZe guys, they were mad after they got eliminated. They, they're going to come back next week. Oh, they were mad. And I, I'm very nervous for the rest of the competition when it comes down to, to their uh, you know next match and whatnot yeah. for, for the next Friday fortnight. But, I mean, I, I think we have a rivalry brewing. Like, we have, you know, the organizations obviously kind of get decided in the infancy of, of an esports title, and... I think we're right now at least we're looking at TSM and FaZe to kind of be the, the leaders right now yeah. of Fortnite. I want to see typical gamer get picked up by uh, <laughs> right, you know, man, Echo yeah. Fox, Ghost Gaming, somebody get this guy. Yeah, he's, I, he's amazing. And Thief too. I mean, he's sponsored by Sora, but that's a YouTube channel, right? Are they making a competitive team? I'm it's, not, it's, possible. Sure. Like, it's possible. It's <laughs> possible. I mean, everybody's jumping on with $100 million an ounce, right? Everybody's jumping on board. It wouldn't surprise me. Me and you were even talking about jumping on board. We were even talking about jumping on board. So, I mean, Probably the worst team out there, NA, but you know what? That's okay. Well, NA. Australia, European, whatever you got, you go for it. But honestly, that's what I was talking about. Typical gamer, sore, uh, sore thief. They're not professional gamers. Well, in terms of what do we call professional? He's called, he's called a typical the gamer for a reason. <laughs> but I mean, the I thing is now, right, I, I could seriously consider them being picked up, especially with right. them showcasing these tournaments. And now we are in it, boys. This is going to decide who is going to be our winner for $10,000, who will secure $7,000 per second. Honestly, it's going to be crazy. TSM going against Myth and Hamlins. I like it. They're Let's doing see what's happening again. here. They're going tilted right off the rip. Myth and Hamlins. Let's see if they can secure some kills. Of course, high risk, high reward. They go down early. Oh that no. could spell damage or danger. And of course, I think he just got beat out. Who? Myth ends up dropping. Myth, no. got, Myth is Myth already got beat. down. He's not dead yet. Oh no, no. And last second, Hamlins tries to save him. Oh he he actually maneuvered as fast God. as he possibly could, as you see it on Myth's screen. Was Myth the very first player to die? <laughs> so that's the thing, because <laughs> well, if you were looking at Myth's screen, he came in, and that's why we heard Ribs say, oh no, because there was a player who got just ahead of him inside that window. 
Lando wow. probably picked up a shotgun and gunned yeah. him down. And there's oh not a lot you can God. do in that situation. Hamlin's in a 1v2. Typical gamer sword thieves has to be incredibly happy at this point. Oh, oh, for absolutely. I mean, that totally takes the wind out of the sails for TSM in the situation. After resetting the bracket, feeling confident, saying, hey, we just reset the entire thing. We're good to go. We can bring this one back. And just like that, I mean, in a matter of moments, the entirety of... The communication, the you know, the, the good vibes essentially are absolutely non-existent. Hamlin's though it's okay, has though. to go big. Like I said, it is a little bit of an awkward spot off the start. He can't make something happen, but being in a permanent one v two, he is solo inside of tilted, and there are could be squads here at any moment. So yeah, it all comes down to this initial here. If Hamlin's is able to survive here at Tilted Towers, he will come out of Tilted Towers with at least maybe you know ten kills. And it, right now, he, I'm sure there's at least 10, 15 players in Tilted Towers, and he is a solo squad. See what he's able to do. Yeah. Meanwhile, Ooh. oh, look at that guy. Ooh, he's down too. This can he secure the kill? He has a little bit of an obstacle there. Yeah, he has to <laughs> and get let's see the if tires. he can figure it out. Well, uh, typical gamer. Well, and here it comes. Oh, he's and done. That's, he's that's done. Thief going down. Wow, and you know, Myth that's has to be so incredibly happy with that, especially with Hamlin's being in the position that that's he's huge. in until tilted. That's huge for to secure a lot of kills. And here we're going to see it now as uh, here comes the build. Typical fight, and gamer was going for it. He's going to pull out the minigun. And this is such a risky situation because you have typical who's kind of off. I think what was the, oh, okay? There's a mobile player, but uh, you know, he was just kind of. I think what he's in fatal right now. And then you have Hamlin's who's literally in the dead center of tilted. Like you were talking about, totally wow. opposite scenarios Look at for these to be in right now. He's got a, a jump pad, I believe. A player just jumped up, and of course, that's not the player you want to send for your team. He just gets mowed down. Hamlin's <laughs> by really Hamlin's is. rips him apart. Of course, that's a blue shotgun as well. I believe he's going to have to actually opts to keep the green tack. Uh, wisely so, of course, has more damage per second. But nonetheless, still, answering back is going to be typical gamer. He's got three kills himself. But, of course, it's going to slow down for him, but it's going to keep get, uh, keep getting even more chaotic for Hamlin's over in Tilted. I, I, I really, crazy. I really love these storylines, man. Winners' finals, we had our first game three of the day. Now we're in set, set two of grand finals, and we have our first real 1v1 for this whole game. This Yo, whole lobby yeah. is going to be a 1v1, and uh, we're just seeing them step up to this, this, this challenge. And great gameplay. Hamlet really is playing with a purpose, and uh, so is Typical Gamer. Beautiful yeah. stuff. And this is a chance, right, for Hamlet's to really kind of prove his skills. Of course, we all know Hamlet's to be an amazing player in Fortnite, without question, but... This is his opportunity. If he wants to be known as the greatest player in Fortnite, it's based off of making huge clutches in tournaments of this caliber. Like we talked about, it's a solid 1v1. Him versus Four. Typical Gamer for the rest of this game. Who can have the advantage? Who can have the lead? Granted, Hamlet's is probably uh, thanking his good graces, thanking the, the Fortnite gods that there happened to be a pretty decent player in that long barn in Fatal Fields. But right now, it's a testament, and this is where you kind of prove yourself as being one of the best players in the world, and we'll see who can have the advantage when it comes down to the ending of this game. This is something you only expect to see here on Friday Fortnite. Incredible storylines, incredible action throughout all of our tournaments. Of course, we even have our Saturday tournament going tomorrow, but right now, TSM looking to secure their first win in our tournaments. They played in every single one of them, but they've never got a champion. But man, what a crazy uh, showing as it's a 1v1 situation. We have now currently two Oof. players down below. This is really big for him. He Hamlet's almost got baited there. It could be <laughs> really dangerous. Is he going to hop in or is he just going to stay out? Of course, he could get shot from the back. He's got to watch yes. out. Matter of fact, he is getting shot from the back. He's got to be forced to oh. jump down. He's taking some damage. If he drops down, he'll get fall. Of course, he finds the stairs. He's going to be jumping in. He's still got I think those he should two reset players. here. Okay, he's going to heal up. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, oh, there's yeah, a player. Oh, he's at every angle. Oh, he's taking so much damage. <laughs> yeah, just disengage. Disengage, Hamlet's disengage. You need to escape. You need to get to a better playing no, field, no essentially. Builds right now. He, he should farm one of those mats if he can. The um, the pallets there yeah. inside of Trump Tower He's give you about nothing. 60, 70 logs. Get this med kit off. Disengage. He needs to stay up right now. And here comes typical gamer right now. He's got a decent three frags and assault team. It's nothing to... To be, you know, oh, heavily covered, but okay, he's gonna he's lose his high ground. Fight versus, I believe, two players. We could we assume, yeah, we, we could assume he's fighting at least two players now, and this is definitely a dire situation. He's gonna use the double ramp technique to cover his top. He's gonna try to reverse oh, the no, situation. It. It's a big he's moment right now. Can he come over the tops? Has the ability, has the high ground, like big you just shots. said there, Ramsey. Oh. Yes, will take down one successfully. Of course, he does get the knockdown, so there is a teammate. Where is he lingering? <laughs> Where is he hiding? That's the question that typical uh, gamer has got to be asking himself I right now. This. 
as the intensity only keeps going. Okay. Happens to be above the next enemy. And you see there the counter to the double ramps. You get on top oh of that second ramp, gosh. and you get a floor the above edit. it. Double edit. Yeah, I, I love it, man. I love it. You, so you saw him use the double ramp offensively, and then right there he had the counter to it. You get above that opponent's double ramp. Right. You put a mat above it, and then you edit it. And this beautiful stuff. Here comes the snipe. He's going <laughs> to land it. Sheesh. Typical gamer going off right now. He's going to land three in a row. One more That's also left. another knockdown. So there's there's teammates yep. around here. You like to imagine. Right. So, oh, and there they are. <laughs> Happen to be just on your flank. Oh, he's yeah. taking a huge risk, taking these minis with that player he's pushing lucky from the back. He's lucky he didn't get shot from the back. Of course, though, he's going to go ahead and build up, trying to spot these players. I mean, he has no idea where he got shot. I don't know where he got shot. Of course, it was from the back. But nonetheless, I mean, from where? Right? So we're yeah. going to have to see. As he's going to be trying to snipe out there, I think it was a snipe that at least took him down. You'd that like much. to imagine, yeah. You'd have to imagine unless it's that. a gold scar that just happened to do like you know forty-five damage from that far away. But okay, now Hamlin's stuff, back. Yeah. He somehow that managed to get some screen. shields. Uh oh, he's still fighting, outnumbered. Oh, there's, there's, the team. The, there's the tomato head from earlier. He's Takes him down. Him down. Him. Needs to solidify the kill. Able to do so. Has some Grab those utility pulse at his I like back. it. Actually rocks the impulses oh, and manages so to smart. escape to the second it, story. Takes out the Tomato Man, and now it's this Beautiful. point where he has to catch up, and he will so do exactly smart. that. <laughs> Heads up Phenomenal play, play there wow. coming in from Hamlin's. Needing to go big in the highest priority area. The, the most influential area is Tilted Towers, and he is soloing it by himself. Ladies and gentlemen, he's <laughs> facing off against squads of four. He's one man. I, I cannot attest to how smart that impulse grenade was. Yeah. Jumping up to the second story, totally lost that other second player. He had no idea where Hamlin's went. Drops back down, picks up the kill. He's sitting at seven right now. He, I mean, it's just a battle of the Titans. You got Hamlin's and typical gamer, two guys that have faced each other off uh, several times in the past. Look at Currently this. tied up oh seven. And, seven. And, and look at this right on the top right. Uh, just for the moment, you can actually see how close that yellow arrow, which happens to be yep. typical gamer. Oh yeah, they're gonna meet up. Yeah, they're gonna join up with one another, and. And that's so so funny to see because they're literally dead even. They're they're literally playing as a squad right now. It's kinda like having <laughs> to uh betray your, your friend essentially, because they are obviously but, friends but, but in this you, game. But, but. but you need that that other body just to take some uh attention away from you. Right. And and they've been doing these one befores, but you see how it gets really ugly. And in this situation, even if it is your opponent that you're fighting with, you need their help. And uh, if they find a shopping cart, let's see if they help each other <laughs> move around the map with it. I don't know. that We saw that during one match, but yeah. I don't think we're going to see that here. I think it's going to be a little bit... We haven't seen too many shopping carts get utilized. We, we, no. we have it, and the reason is because I think it's just too slow, plus you're just a big target, of course, with the directional I mean, yeah. pads that might, in fact, be added later <laughs> on in the future that we heard about that's maybe kind of leaked. That could make a difference, at least make it competitive, competitively viable. But Taylor Intel. As of right now, I, I, I'm not too sure. But, you know, one thing that I... One the per sources, but one thing that I do want to point out is typical gamer actually has a history of stealing Hamlin's kills. So if they meet up, I'm kind of curious to see how many he can steal from Hamlin's. Because in one of our top fives, actually, we we saw yeah. Hamlin's was like typical gamer just stole my kill, and that yeah. actually secured the victory for his team the first time. So. We could see a little rematch here. I, I'm really and liking the way this is playing and out. This is a storyline, right? It's really generated around Hamlin's, essentially. He needs to kind of go big. But speaking of that, it looks like it's going to be typical right now, having to make somewhat of a play. He calls himself the typical gamer, but he's exactly the opposite. Is a phenomenal one in this regard. One of the best Fortnite players that we have in the game currently. And we'll see what he can try to pull off in this situation. Not many players up. 15 remaining engagements that he will make. One more knockdown happened, Whoa. and there's another player. <laughs> a Rust Lord decides to sacrifice himself wow. for the respectiveness the of the love for the right team. There. That was literally a meat shield. He put his body right in front of. But just like that, there's shot. actually two players that Hamlin's has in front of him right three. now. This could be this could be a full squad. We I have think a, he's I pulling up a fight. In, I think yeah, I think I think he's pulling up into a fight that's already going on, and he's going to see if he could sneak in some kills. Yeah, finding the best way to approach it. He was just hanging back. Now he's going to go in for the full kills. He does have two players just below him. He hasn't shot just yet. Still trying to play that sneaky beaver roll. Now here we go. He's going for the engage. Gets a couple of shots on that player. Of course, they're going to build up. He's going to cop down. He's going to make quick work of this player. Hopefully so. But of course, that player builds up. Really intense at this point. He's going to take the high ground. Spots He's another three player as well. He gets the damage. He gets the knockdown. He's shields. got two He's let very more low to health. work about. He's at 84 health. Of course, one blast shot from a shotgun. Could end his tournament life. Woo. Looking at it so far. Gets another knock. A player building oh up. He gets a, he gets the high ground. He's got to edit blow. His Not pump even shotgun so. is empty. His pump shotgun's empty. He's got to remain. He goes for the tack. He gets a couple of hits off of that guy's health. No more shields remaining on the enemy opponent. He is still building a huge build war going down. These are very competent players he's playing against right now. Of course, but, he, but he's I think holding the high ground. Now here comes the pulse grenade play. He can I knock them off and get a free down. I think there's only one player, though, that he's going against. No, there's at least point. two more. Is at least two more. At least two more. Yes. 
He Very downed LeBron James. There was still the pink hair girl, and there was one more <laughs> character. <laughs> How ridiculous does that sound? <laughs> Seriously? Welcome to Fortnite Esports, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. We're just getting into the thick of things. Not many players left, and like we talked they about, where is this guy lingering? There's so many mats. They're literally inside of so many building structures, so many mats left to go, and where is this player at? He might have just spotted him through the wall. There's the opportunity. Okay. Happens to get the nice little edit. Has the wall in his favor. And it looks like he will start to disengage a little bit. Wants to back up and realizes, hey, the storm's actually right on my heels, so I might have to do this for a reason. Ooh, Grab oh the jetpack, no, but has to escape. He takes 30 damage in this situation and desperately needs to try oh, to jetpack away. This is so dangerous. Plus, he doesn't know if there's going to be players. Typical is here. Typical, Typical could try to grab this kill. Typical, if he grabs these kills, could, in fact, secure the lead for the next. Oh 24 health remaining. He has Can't a med kit. Let's get out of here. He's got a med kit, but, of course, the storm is so incredibly close behind him. He still has those players pushing behind him. They have not dropped just yet. Run him. We still run. have seven. He can't get away. There he goes. He finally breaks the storm. Now he's got to turn his Needs attention back up. behind. Yeah. He's right. got to right here. He's got to heal, but of course, that's going to give Typical the opportunity to get these kills because those and players Typical's are still and running through. And this that is a little bit of a delight. Typical is actually watching directly toward the storm right now once we see uh, Hamlin's go for the revive. So he's waiting to see anyone who comes out of the storm, any frags that he can find. He knows that we just saw Hamlin's go into a fight. He's watching, so we'll see if he can find any exiting kills, any players right that ahead. are coming out. And yes, he does spot at least players. one. There's structures coming in from two, and there's about to be a third on his flank. Not many up, but it looks like it will be typical who spots almost every single one of them. Here comes the edit, but he's having to play very, very passively at the same time. Here comes the snipe, and welcome to your knockdown. A fantastic 55 meter headshot to the skull as typical gamer looking absolutely insane with a multitude of weapons. What a final you could. Oh my gosh, and he gets another kill. He's pumped up. He says, Oh baby, let's go. As we're seeing now, he's currently sitting he's even at emoting, bro. He he's even like, emoting. What was that? There's an emote with a basketball? Ten, 10, and now he's got eight. So it's 10 to 8 currently with the two kill lead. Of course, still five engagements remaining. You couldn't write this even if you were the best storyteller out here. It's been a 1v1 of the ages. As you guys know, it's been 1v4 situations oh, wow. nonstop Oof. between the two of them. They have finally converged, and now anybody getting in their way, God bless their soul because, hey, they are just going to get absolutely decimated by either which one. Typical gamer, though, does have a little advantage. He's going to be leading the way from Hamlin's. So if there's any players atop this hill that he spots, or in general just on top of this hill, he'll have the first engagement, but Hamlin's following close behind to Three potentially kills. get it. And, of course, three kills is, in fact, going to be the current lead. And look, at he's still talking. He's still pumped up from it. And you can't blame him, Ribs. You've been in these situations before. He's got to be feeling great. Yeah, but Hamlin's too. The fact that he's still alive right now, it's just it's a testament to his awareness oh, in yeah. that situation. He was doing so well in that fight. There was still two players left, but they were turtling, and they were doing a good job of stalling. And then here comes the gas. And he did a very good job staying ahead of that gas, using the pulse grenades and the jetpacks. And he, he could use that to get a few more kills here and put him and Myth in a good situation for game two. It's so close. I mean, you can't call it either which way. We're oh, yeah, definitely man. going in round two, and that it's going to be the deciding factor. And I guarantee you, TSM's not going tilted again. They're going to be spotted out. someone. He has gotten into an engagement. We'll see if Typical can try to steal this one away. Of course, Hamlin's just trying to grab some shield. He does have the jetpack. If he vends to use it, can kind of try to bounce himself up to a possible fight, but it looks like the yeah, grenade launcher, that's a Watch perfectly out. placed one, needing to try and escape, having to use the, the mats above his head just to block the They're going to give up their high ground and jump down on him? They, they are. could be doing this, yes, and it looks like Hamlet has to go for the engagements. He realizes the typical gamer is just on his heels. This happened just two weeks ago, but can Hamlet get the last laugh in this particular situation? Yes, he can. A big moment, and yes, nice gets edit. the nice build edit. We'll take down one, now up to eight kills here for Hamlet. The build battle's coming through. This is exactly where Hamlet likes to sit. This is where he thrives, and can he do it here? And the biggest moment of this tournament, and yes, finds another one. Only it. three players remain in this lobby here. Here, boys. Yep, that just tied it up, and now we got three engagements remaining. Good loot coming in, of course, though. They're not really concerned with that, as have we see. Uh, of course, he's a little bit delayed. He's just watching those kills, trying desperately to knock down that bridge to potentially take over that kill. Not able to do so, and now he knows it's all tied up. He's got to get some kills to at least have a little bit of padding going into the second round. Only three players remaining. And, of course, the circle is going to be collapsing down. Of course, those players will, in fact, come out in the wash. Don't know where they're at just yet. They're going to be hiding it out. And, of course, I would be too. But, hey, Hamlins, typical gamer. They're hot on the hills of the enemy opponents. Of course, it's going to just time will tell. They'll be able to find them and who will get the final three kills. Huge plays there from Hamlins.
going to put them down only by one yeah. kill. Th- th- that's that's nothing heading into this next game, really. Sure. I mean, I mean, obviously it means something, but that, how that's a player, right? There's, there's there's 96 coming in this next game. <laughs> there's going to be few and far between. It's not going to be a problem. But I mean, uh, but think about it. Landon and Rins, I mean, would they lost a player both early on, both of the teams. Oh, yeah, this has been a 1v1. This has been a 1v1. And honestly, if, when we saw Miff drop, we were like, Hamlin's no, right? But yeah, we thought it was over. But then we, and then all and of a sudden, ends up dropping. Thief ends up dropping. And now we're in this situation. Oh, and if he would have hit that, if that he would have hit that. If that player wouldn't have just happened to, to kind of get that secondary ramp just behind him, that would have been. Uh, That's like the third tomato that we've seen in this lobby. <laughs> that character is so funny. Oof. <laughs> All right, big fight coming out. Keep in mind now, there's only three players left in the lobby this outside. This guy's got rockets, two. too. Uh, this might be the last team of three. Uh oh, Uh-oh. needs to be careful. Up close, a personal fight. Players from all different angles. Hamlin's needs to be aware of such. And it looks like he is just that. Goes that for the edit. Nearly takes down one. And yes, will be plays. able to do it. And also manages to put the ramps at Here his backside. The, the incredible awareness coming through from Hamlin's phenomenal play. You're not going to see too many guys be able to escape with their life along with the frag, let alone even both of those things. Uh, so with that kill, he's going to tie it up, and that's going to leave two people left. There's going to be a 2v2 left in this lobby. And keep in mind, guys, this is only game number one here of grand final set number two. Oh. And there's the headshot. <laughs> the big tomato is going to go down. Splatters everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and now one player left right now, and... It could end with a tie if Hamlin is able to get oh, this kill. Oh, there it is. That looks like it's going to be the final one. out. But no. can Hamlin steal it? And he oh, does. No typical wow. gamer. Typical, typical, typical gets gamer it. got it. So the I'm rocket to the face, despite the pump shot, just too much more powerful. <laughs> so, so what is it? It's they're up be two. They're up two. No, they're up. I, I think yeah. it's 13-11. It's yeah, they're, they're up two. Wow. A 1v1, 13-11, going in. Man. Almost oh. disastrous as Myth went down and tilted early <laughs> on. I thought it was I, I was I'm not so even nervous. playing, and I'm stressed out. I, I, like, I'm telling you, stuff. this is – Beautiful stuff. Are you crying, Taylor? I, I, I am thinking <laughs> about it. I'm an ugly crier, though, so I'm going to hold back on that. But Can we wow. get a nice zoom-in shot on, on Taylor? No, if we're okay. If, if TSM okay. wins this game, we're going to carry Taylor throughout the set and hang him on our shoulders. I love TSM. I, I'm a huge TSM fan. <laughs> I okay, swear I gotta to God, say, you're but, crying right but now. But no, I'm not crying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, come on. what a You couldn't call it. Look, Hamlin's a typical gamer. They have this history already, right? He's been in this situation before, of course. This time it's a little bit different. He's already secured $7,000 at least. But, of course, we've already talked about back-to-back -back series, both – uh, the energy levels from TSM and Typical Gamer looking at, or Typical Gamer and Sword Thieves looking at their screens, especially Typical Gamer, they are hype. And yeah. they have to be at this point, right? Yeah. This is one of the best finals we have had so oh, far in Friday, Fortnite. And everything is on the line. I, I'm so I have the best seat in the house. I'm so excited to watch this. This is exactly how I want to spend my Friday evening. And guys in the chat, you got to please let us know. Who are you calling? Use the hashtag you or excuse me, hashtag Friday Fortnite to let us know on Twitter who do you think will take this final round? Only two kills separate them. Landon Ribs, my buddies, my pals. <laughs> Come on, talk to me, listen, please. Listen, the question's been for the past few months when all these players have been getting picked up by these orcs, like, will Fortnite succeed as an esport? And like this, this is grassroots esports right here for Fortnite. Like we don't even know if this is gonna be the format. But look how hype it is! Look how close it is! And this is just like a public lobby. We don't <laughs> even know who these players are that we're fighting oh against. Yeah. And some of these guys are good. Some of these guys are really good. Really and, good. And it's coming down to the wire every single week. And you gotta love it. It's a perfect, perfect example that this is going to be an esport for a long time coming. Oh, oh, absolutely! Like we've been talking about, like you know, week after week after week. It's not as if like the matches are getting stale. They're getting more exciting. Yes. Like it's, it's as if like you know, like games can kind of have like a little bit of a you know a shaky start. This one has been nothing but just a, an absolute explosion as far as the potential that this title has to be a, a really big you know kind of esports uh, you, know, you know kind of titan essentially in the sure. industry. So. Sure. I think it's fair to say, I think you bring up a really good point there, Ribs, is that like we are in the very infancy of what Fortnite esports is. We're not even we don't even know if we're playing in the actual mode yet. We're no, playing we're in custom lobbies <laughs> with yeah. the I mean the amount of RNG that comes into each game and yet it is still so competitive and so intense it is just honestly a witness to to how great this game is. But here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's the final map. Ten thousand dollars going to our first place team. It's our final game of we our Friday. Retail. 
Fortnite Week 4 tournament. It's time to land, and it looks like it will be the TSM guys first on our screen, just off toward the right, as they're going to be going toward Retail Row. They're already thinking about the purchase that they're going to make with that cash. <laughs> and you know what? Honestly, that was a great transition, by the way. I really, really oh, like no. that a lot. But oh, <laughs> oh, no, we got a pickaxe battle going down. Hamlet's, Hamlet's do not let this happen again. No, Man does not have a revolver. Oh, this is so dangerous already. Okay, of course, Mitt's Retail. Got a this is the first time we've seen any teams go Retail right off the yeah, rip. So this, this is, is funny. This is, this it, had is the, it had to be the... Um, the, the bus, the, the location of the bus, the route the bus yeah. took that, that made them think that. So now they have a jump pad. Um, <laughs> they're going to meet up. Myth has a shotgun, so they're just going to stay together. That was scary right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was very scary. If Hamlet's, uh chased that guy into that doorway, there was a good chance the guy would have turned around with a weapon. And that was wow. a very smart play. Do not go for the pickaxe battle. For those of you at home, <laughs> don't that, ever do it. That <laughs> is the worst thing you can do <laughs> because while you're doing that pickaxe battle, his teammate could be coming behind you. So always go for a weapon. Don't sacrifice any health. And now he's met up with his teammate, and I don't think either one of them are going to go down. They've been shooting so straight tonight. Yeah, they definitely have as we're looking. Not a good setup so far, at least when we're talking about overall uh, inventory-wise. But he does have that green pump in his back pocket, of course. I look at that gray revolver, and normally I would disregard it, but <laughs> already I've seen <laughs> it's that. It's actually Hamlet's uh, it has, Hamlet's time has it now, so we'll see what he can be able to do with it. But already another fight going down as they're both going to engage Oof. on it, making quick work of that leprechaun, it looked yeah, like. No Quite luck, interesting. No luck for her. Yeah. No, no luck for the <laughs> leprechaun going down, but hey. We're seeing it. You don't want to be going against the TSM boys. They're on fire already. Retail <laughs> to get out of this ramp. Way. That'd be great. And but, uh, to be quite honest with you, so the reason why I think they went retail is because they got into the fight quickly. It's not so much about the location, but about already get you, getting your feet on the ground, getting an inventory, and already getting the kills. Yeah, and I think they're already tying the game up. Yeah. They were down by three. They just quicked up a, pick th a quick three. And, and I believe there should be more players left on the, on the uh, residential side of retail. And this is good stuff here from uh, TSM, and this, I'm sorry, but this match is going to come down to the wire. I can already tell. <laughs> oh, you don't have to apologize. I, I, I'm pretty excited about this. I'm not going to lie, but... Uh but yeah, man, I think as well, like the reason, well, I'll transfer that in here in just a second. Actually, a fight going down right now big here fight. for Thief. Big moments in this game. If one, if one player were to drop, that absolutely sets up massive moments. Typical, Typical gamer. gamer has dropped. He's fallen. What can Thief this do? He needs it. to steal back oh, no. this game. Needs to stay up. Has to try to oh, That's it. And no, he drops no. as well. That's the game. Typical and Thief might have just lost their chances of a Friday Fortnite Victory. Salty Springs, their go-to spot, the place that they've been winning all yes, day. Yes, that's it. They were down three, and they've already, TSM, got, already got four. TSM, TSM secures TSM. their first championship Let's watch the reactions. Friday Fortnite. Oh, my God. In a, in a matter of moments, this game is already done. That was questionable Come plays on, there from Thief. Thief had nine, 99 uh, they don't uh, realize brick, it and yet. he didn't build. Myth doesn't realize it yet, but they've already won. They were down three. That's four. They don't realize they've won the game yet. They're just trying to secure the victory. Yeah. You don't want to lose focus in a situation like this. They're even disengaging. Look at his health. Myth goes Myth, down, Myth's but this, go this down. is the perfect yeah. time for him to check at this point. He's got to check. Look he, at look He's telling him, don't die for me. Just run. Just run. That's all you need to do. Just get away. We'll evaluate. Look at it. I think going he's going to realize it. He's got to realize it Yeah, he point. definitely realized it. They won. Well, Good come on, i got to see a reaction. He's got to jump out of his chair <laughs> no, or something. All right, listen, he plays for a team solo mid. He has a little bit more composure than that. He's not going to pop off over one victory. <laughs> this, is the first, this is the first victory of many for my man Myth, all right? Wow, the TSM <laughs> boys finally have secured a victory. And wow, I am so congratulations. for doing so. Myth and Hamlin's playing it out. Hamlin's in the situation before I've been talking about it over GGs. and over and over again, and they have finally secured a victory of $10,000, and that is a new victor. Of course, typical gamer and sword thieves playing phenomenally well, but just coming up short in second place, and of course still the consistency. $7,000 with the total of our earnings in this, uh, when it comes to these Friday Fortnights of $17,000, which is a lot of money in general, but man, yeah, man, that, that's absolutely absurd. And, of course, congratulations to, to our victors. Sure. TSM, they finally respond back. We wow. talked about Phase's victory last week. I mean, off the start of our tournaments, it was a matter of Nick Merckx and Cypher kind of coming out of the gate. Everyone was kind of surprised. Like, wow, we didn't actually – like, it was kind of odd to, to see that particular team win just out of, you know, curiosity. Next week we see Typical Gamer and Sword Thief. Where, where are the competitive teams at? Why are they not winning these tournaments? Sure. Where are they – like, what, what's happening here? And then in back-to-back -back weeks we see FaZe Clan win week three. And, of course, here in CSM. week four, the majority, the $20,000, wow. when, when it matters the most, the competitive teams are here to respond back. But, man. TSM, they yep. are our champions tonight. Congratulations to Timith and Hamlin's on achieving their championship. And uh, just like that, $10,000.